This video is going to show you how to enqueue your own JavaScript that is dependent on jQuery. In this case, I'm using the 2017 theme and I've created a child theme. So I'm going to go over to PHP Storm and show you my child theme. In style.css, we have the minimum needed to create a child theme, which is some stuff in basically the head header of the style.css and then I have a functions.php and I'll explain the functions.php file. We're doing an add action and the add action is this this action and that action is calling this function and so this function here 2017 wp under, un, uh, in scripts is the same name here so this needs to call this function and you always want to prefix it where something makes sense like TST is 2017 theme um, I really could rename that to 2017 theme uh, like child so 2017 child so I'll actually go ahead and rename that where it makes a little more sense and so that's the basics of this child theme. And if you're already using, you're trying to add this to some kind of existing theme, obviously you wouldn't need this part, but you would still need this add action and you would need this function in here. And we would just add this, this one line. So WP in Q script and then we want to call this something that makes sense, uh, like TSC. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you're not familiar with PHP Storm, PHP Storm is really smart and it works really well with WordPress and it's adding this text handle. Do not uh, copy handle in, or type handle in here. Um, that's just there to help me out that I know that I need the handle name. And so I'm going to call this 2017 child main JS, for example. And then we're going to call this get, or not call it that, we're going to run this function of get style sheet directory URI. And then we're going to append this JS slash main dot JS. So we're telling it that this is the handle name, this is the actual file we're trying to load, which is this child theme directory, and then within there, the JS directory, and then main.js. So same structure as on the left here. And then we're going to need to tell it also, go ahead and close that, but then we're also going to tell it, you know, we have an array of things that we need, and actually we only need one. Um, and that is jQuery. And jQuery here is a handle. So if I wanted to deregister jQuery, I would just need to know the handle's name, in this case, jQuery. So if I wanted to, for some reason, wanted to deregister this script, I would deregister this handle. Pretty simple. So we hit save. Let's go and look at the JS real quick, just so you know, this is jQuery on document ready. Let's do this alert. So that's what should happen. We do a refresh. It's there. So my function is working. I'm going to show you the source here. Main.js. So this is being enqueued, and then right before that, jQuery is being loaded. So that's how you enqueue a script correctly.